Thunder is back. Ready to get started? Yeah, I guess I'm ready. Ready to pick an untoken opener. Well, Murlocs and Beasts are not, neither in the game, so Elementals were the only possible token openers. <laughs> Good night, Coptus. Don't tell the others. I'm rooting for you. Rough battle. Pick yourself back up and turn it around. All right, let's go up a tier. You're doing great out there. <laughs> it's a tie again. Oh, it's a tie against Lich King. That's not bad, actually. All right, let's see. Can we get some decent minions going here? Selemental is not a bad minion. I can buy that. Then I can sell it. Then I could buy a 3-3 Righteous Protector. Or I could buy a 3-4 Micro Mummy. I think the 3-4 Micro Mummy is more promising. Let's take that. Pretty close call though. Treaty with Divine Shield definitely has its uses as well. Assuming that the opponent has minions with less than 4 attack, this is stronger. Once opponent has minions with more than 4 attack, then this becomes weaker. But like in this scenario, this is stronger than the Treaty with Divine Shield. But I couldn't win with 47.8% probability to win. Ah, sometimes you win it, sometimes you don't. Alright, pair of free dealing gamblers. I can take those. They're cool. Let's do it like this. Now I don't want the reborn to be attacking too quickly. That's a lot of gold. This is one of the worst minions to triple though, because then you only get 6 gold from the triple. But storing some gold is always useful. I like that. Next minion I'm going to pick up is important, because that's going to be one with the plus two plus two buff. Unfortunately I won't be able to make much decisions about it, because I need to roll up a tavern tier and then I need to choose a minion from there. But hopefully one of the minions that I offered is going to be a good one. It would kind of be an alternative to... Oh. Is there really an alternative to sell this so that I can get a re-roll? Your minions really pulled their weight. I suppose a 4-4 Kaboom bot is fine though. There's also the option for a 4-3 selfless hero. Which isn't bad by any means. A little bit better late in the game. Weaker early on. Which path do I want to take? I think the Kaboom bot will help me win more games early on. And whether Selfless Hero makes it to the board really depends on the composition that I will have. So let's take a look at this now with this sort of thing. It's a pretty good looking board right now. Lots of opportunities. Pretzel mustard, yeah. Only 52% to win though. Could be better odds. No, don't hit there. Oh yeah, do hit there. Well, at least I didn't lose. Almost managed to lose that one. Yikes. Well, that's a triple of steward of times. I think I won it. I put here next turn. 
buy two of these now. Probably buying two of these now. Two of this now with the Righteous Protector. Freeze. Got just one of them on the board. Like this. This is okay. This looks like a strong board. Well... That's a... Interesting looking at Nihil and Battlemaster. It's putting up a fight. Not quite enough of a fight, but a pretty good fight. Then we're going to get the first. First discover. Discover time. Tavern tier 4. Vice steward of time. Golden steward of time. Discover tier 5 minion. Well, I guess I could try with Razor Gore, right? I can sell one of the free dealing gamblers here. I can pick up another dragon. I can sell the micro. I can sell another free dealing gambler, right? To roll. And then I can sell the micro mummy. For that dragon there. So then I can have a board like this. Where Razor is getting plus 5, plus 5 per turn. I don't typically like going Razor too much. Because it's Caligus that really makes dragons. But if I can get Razor this early, and I happen to have a couple of dragons already. Then there is a chance to make it work. Because now it really gets to grow. Your minions really pulled their weight. Maybe I could pick up the enforcer. I might as well. I can sell the Kaboom bot now. So that I can go to tier 5. And I can have 6 dragons on this board. And 1 Divine Shield minion. And I'm on tier 5 now. So I have a chance to start looking for... If I can find another triple I can... I could get to Kalegos. Would there still be a chance to pivot to something other than dragons? I suppose that's also an option still. Still no idea how to make decisions in Battlegrounds. Well, the heroes... There are a lot of statistics available on the hero performance. So the relative strength of the heroes is fairly clear. And once you know the hero that you're playing, then from there you start to make decisions regarding your game strategy. For most heroes it's the same. Say, buy on 1, level up on 2, double buy on 3, double buy on 4, level up on 5 and buy. That sort of stuff. But some heroes also do things a little bit differently. Depending on the exact hero. I managed to pick up the win. Oh, Levin Chem, sorry to hear that. You're good at this. Well, let him miss her, I suppose. Would I pick up a Hangry? I don't think I want a Hangry. But I do want the Dragon Spawn Lieutenant Triple. Because this could give me Calagos. 
get some minions in play. Or it could give me the Adina. Oh, it gives me an Amalgadon. Which isn't terrible either. I need some non-dragon before the Amalgadon play, right? Let's just pick up the floating watcher here. I'm selling that one. Then I get to play the Amalgadon with two minion types on the board. But I managed to pick up the... But there's no Murlocs in the game, so I can't get, give poisonous to this one. So we're just doing something like this here. That one probably won't be the last place. Alright, so far so good. Managed to kill a minion. Is this still 18 damage? I suppose it's still 18 damage, right? Yep, 22. Padao. But then. What do I need to do? Do I need to go to. I need to go to tier 6 now. I think I want to go to tier 6 here. I'm strong enough to go to tier 6. Tier 6 gives me a chance to find find some of the real power minions. We'll see. I think I can afford one round of no development. Get to 6. Start looking for, for that Nadina. Start looking for Caligos. I already have two goldens, so I'm not I'm not going to pick up triples very easily. There's no Murlocs in this game, so I can't get poison. That means that elementals are really strong in this game. Caligus is a tier six minion that that gives your all of your dragons a buff every time you play a battleground battle cry minion. It's the centerpiece of the dragon's composition. Oh dear. 97% to lose. Yep, that would be a loss. Well, that's still okay. Didn't get a perfect game, but... There's still more time. I mean, I could do with some really powerful things here. Can I pick up some of those? Well, there's a, another Razor Gore. And there's another Cobalt Scalebane too. So, a couple of pairs. Pairs are useful. This Razor Gold will immediately gain plus 7, plus 7. So I can sell the Twilight Emissary and get the Razor Gore going. I can also sell this triple. If I had thought about it earlier, I would have sold it to pick this up. Well, there's a Razor Gore triple for next turn. Right. So Razor is going to be tripled next turn. But I still need still need something more. Nadina the Red maybe. Even more than Calagos. There won't be a lot of poison in this game. 65% to lose this one. But there can be a lot of stats.
Those are some quality stats right there. Ouch. Another loss, but it's not over yet. It's still fine. If I can find Nadine, I, I mean, I should win the lobby, right? Okay, Razor Gore triple. Calegos. That's my boy. This Dragon and Enforcer can go. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. That's what I would have picked. Let's play with around with these a little now. No battle cry minions. Nope. No battle cry minions in that one either. Well, there is a red whelp. That's a battle cry minion, actually. I can take that. Alright, now there's the Calegos. Now Calegos starts to buff up the board. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. The only poison in this matchup game could be the 1-1. One, one. But I have 74% to lose here. To double Kangor's Apprentice Golden Rivendare board. That's a good one. Ouch. Golden Rivendare and Golden Egg. Yikes. It will be really annoying if I die here. Is that 26? How much damage is that? That's 28 damage! Golden Rivender, Golden Egg. And just like that, my perfect dragon game turned into third place. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.